Good morning, good afternoon, or good night. It's September 22nd. My name is Reagan. This is your daily climate news roundup. But before I get into today's stories, I just want to mention how I feel about protesters regarding the Boston blockages yesterday on and many other places in the past year, frankly. Um, there's really two ways of looking at it. And this is this is just uniformly true. I, I feel like this is the whole theme of, of I've been talking about lately. Just we're wired differently. Just that's that's a fact. And what I mean is perceptions. So it's no surprise people have opposing views in the culture and society we live in today. Frankly, I don't think we agree upon much of anything. Uh, most you know layman people, besides the bare necessities, you know, survival, so on and so forth. But the point is, when people see, there's half of these people that when they see people blocking streets, they think, wow, that's so destructive. How could they think of doing that? How could they, they're actually causing more misery and suffering now. But when in hindsight, in actuality, they're actually doing the same thing. Someone just commented, uh, on my last one, of my last two videos, and says, "If you're not somebody said this, right? If you're not thinking about this, and and it's not free, you don't have your head on. Like it makes you maybe scared. Obviously, fear. Then, if you're not feeling that way, then maybe something's not exactly aligned." And a lot of other people were complaining. On another note, the YouTube app on my last video was not showing straight up, not showing comments, but the ones on the computer did work. So you can go on youtube.com on a desktop and it shows. I don't know why I did this. Uh, but I just wanted to read a few funny comments from that last one again before I start today's show. Jeremy Jackson says in a very sarcastic tone, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to like this one. Call now to see if your zip code is eligible for, for extra seawater to be added to your aquifer every month. If you're not yet within our coverage range, please be patient and try out our other services. Our mega storms are the best in the country for power blowing houses and reducing your electric bill. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, guys, a good laugh is is necessary. I'm opening up my screen recorder so I can. Jarko likes the format, but he doesn't like the blah blah, which is most of the, the world news. Indeed, Lupe says thanks for the meat sauce. Meat sauce. Abyss man says I can't see other comments. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what it was about maybe the subject matter or that I included clips of. Uh, the UN General Assembly it hasn't been uh, vetted yet or gone through YouTube's copyright blockages things. I, I really don't know. I really don't know. Mr. Wolver sent through, one of my subscribers sent through a link to this site called Climate and Economy. Uh, I'll get to this in a moment. But let's read this opinion piece from USA Today. I just I just went through MSN today. Does it matter? It all pulls up the same traction of results. Does it really matter at this point? Let's just read about what's happening. This is the climate news update. I just pick a bunch of... The spread of climate doom on TikTok is hurting the climate justice movement and Gen Z. This last year I saw a TikTok that troubled me. Covering the screen is texting. When my cousin says he wants to be an astronaut when he grows up, but it's 70 degrees in December. The message was clear. The world is ending. The generations will come to carry the burden and they won't be able to accomplish their goals. This from Fox Business. California seeks to ban sales of diesel commercial truck efforts to fight pollution and climate change. Oh, they'll also get away, they'll also get, they'll run on electricity by 2035, guys. It's almost 2023. How fast do you think we can move? How fast do you think we can move? It is from business to community. I just pulled this up for a joke. It's giving a climate recommendation, climate change business recommendations, because it's money, profit. Next era energy, a global leader in wind and solar generation and dividend aristocrat. You can invest in them. They were founded in 19. Elon's going to send us to Mars and save the, save, save us, save the planet. Uh, this from the Daily Star. Climate change is all about with some photos of uh, looks like refuge climate refugees uh, floods in Silhet. Glad you're not there. To save our crippled, let's just read the the ending, closing paragraph. To save our crippled planet from the clutches of these politicians, we should use our power to shut down their power by voting them out of office. They're more of a threat than the planet and climate change. Yeah, psychopaths. Here, I should write a, a, a response piece. Psychopaths go into positions of power. 
Paul Beckwith even did a video on this. He knows it. He knows it. Yeah, I have a lot more to say about that. It could be an entirely separate video. Um, hunger stones from Yahoo. Hunger stones showing climate change is nothing new. Letters. The purveyors of climate change panic pose that the droughts in Europe and out west are caused by human activity. However, the hunger stones are now pairing mainly in German rivers raise questions. There are carvings to warnings to future gen generations. In Germany and ethnic settled communities through the 15th and 19th centuries. Anyways, on these stones, he says, if you see me, then weep. A warning that the drought would lead to hardship and famine. There were neither cars nor industries plaguing humanity in 1400, but the, the earth was not heavily peopled. Uh, Angelina Jolie, you know her. She said on Wednesday that she feared many people she had met during her visits to flood-hit areas would not make it if more aid did not arrive. Yeah, you think? Is she, do you think she's really like a, a bitchy wife? Do you think she nags a lot? Entire countries could vanish because of climate change soon. This from... Of super I don't know. I just wanted to see what the lady had to say. Tuvalu Prime Minister Kazia Nantano is racing to save his tiny island by, by, from drowning by, by 13 to 16 feet above sea level through land re reclamation. Do you know we might have a copper shortage soon? I don't know if I got that link, but it's gonna cause a cop. We're gonna have a copper crisis. So imagine we're trying to build all this renewable green technology, the sucking carbon kind and the electrification of our grid, but we don't have the copper to transfer the energy. What a mess. What a mess. Why is the greatest threat of the planet so little concern to most Americans? Hmm, you tell me. It's shocking, frankly, that the global warming ranks 24th on a list of 29 issues of voters they think they'll say they'll vote about in November, says Yelp program on climate change. Okay, an opinion piece, right? This is this is straight up saying, how can people be so blithely unconcerned when the clear consensus of scientists is that climate disruption is reaching crisis levels and will result uh, not only in more raging storms, droughts, wildfires, and heat waves, but very possibly a famine, mass migration, collapsing economies, and war. Sure, there are reasons of, for apathy. High among them is fossil fuel companies have spent decades pulling the wool over the eyes of Americans, and Republicans and politicians have been complicit. But that's not the whole story. To try to understand a little bit more, he had a conversation with David Fenton in his forthcoming book, The Activist Media Handbook, due out in November. Y'all want to see Una, don't you? Look at the camera. Messing with stuff, so I'll have to move her out. Anyways, what he says, Fenton says that the forces trying to cause the rouse the world to fight climate change, including philanthropic foundations, environmental organizations, and activist group, among others, have by and large part ignored the most rudimentary tenets of marketing adver advertisement to their detriment of the planets. That's because they believe the business of selling ideas is fundamentally dirty, manipulative, and beneath them. They're convinced that data, truth, and evidence are what matter, Fenton says. To them, and we're talking about a lot of well-intentioned lawyers, scientists, and people who've studied the humanities, good ideas sell themselves. That's going back to that conversation I had earlier. There's half of the people that, even when they see people protesting, though, they think, well, that's... Stupid, they're disrupting all this traffic. But on the other hand, we're all gonna die in less than 20 years. So we gotta sell people on like, do we gotta make like a Marvel Thor movie about it? Do we need to make a Avengers movie about it? Don't Look Up came out, which is completely pff, cool. What, you know, what, what do we need to do? So instead of spending money and resources on shaping public attention, they keep commissioning more policy reports and think tanks and convening more global meetings of scientists on the presumption that the steady acceleration of irrefutable facts will ultimately prevail. The other side knows better. People at fossil fuel companies and their allies go to business school where they learn cognitive and marketing science. And believe me, it is a science. They learn how to sell the products and service. They invest in defining messages and reaching out to people. Our side does not. What are some? So we got to put it on our little Kit Kat bars and, and McDonald's burgers. And when every time you wrap it, you know, unwrap it, it says like, you no, know, you won't have access to clean water in two years. We know this argument before here. Deliver, deliver simple messages for one thing. In general, climate activists lean toward complexity and nuance because they don't want to patronize, condescend, or mislead by oversimplifying their audience. Once you have a simple message repeated over and over, yeah, we're all going to fucking die. How about that message? Did you know that consumers generally have to see an ad more than half a dozen times they'd be persuaded by a product? When we're all 100% for sure gonna fucking die! 
embed the facts and data in what um, Fitton calls moral stories that tug at emotions. Wow, I don't know how to get much more emotional than losing everything you have. Anyone who has ever watched TV ads know that strategies can make arguments more powerful. And Fitton is certainly right that you can't mobilize people for war if they don't know they're under attack. Public, public education is obviously a missing piece of the puzzle. Somehow we need to awaken a nation of sleeping, underinformed, and unsufficiently motivated citizens. Gee, is that an understatement? Can we reread that? We need to awaken a nation of sleeping, underinformed, and unsufficiently motivated citizens and persuade them to rise to the great challenge of the modern times. To do that, the unmanipulation process needs to begin in earnest. Nope, let's go to BJ's and Chili's and get some ribs this weekend. We need to awaken a nation of sleeping, underinformed, and insufficiently motivated citizens. To be fun. Maybe it's supposed to be terrifying. And unsettling. Oh, please don't do that. And you should stay up please. all night, every night, crying. Last but not least, climate change is impacting California's tomato crop. Much of the fruit was scorched, flattened, squishy, and ruined. And the farmer, Nick Petkov, straight up says, I think it's the climate change that plays the biggest role, huh, you think? You'll think? He also remarked, I think this was the hottest summer I've ever encountered in my life. You know, but blocking cars and stopping a few people from going to their wage cages is uh, horrendous, just despicable behavior. Hit like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I enjoy doing, I'm getting more comfortable. I enjoy doing this, uh, giving, running social commentary on the truth of the situation because like I was telling my roommate, no one else is, no one else is just like giving the hard cold facts like it is with with rationality, you know, what little bit of it we have left. But Black Bear News is a great channel too. Thanks guys. I'll talk to you later. Peace.